and you can see auto play feature is working and this website is looking great you just click on what might be the most important ai video you'll watch this month this new agent from minimax doesn't just talk the talk it actually builds real apps automates your research and connects to your favorite tools all for free let's see if it lives up to the hype this agent is based on minimax m1 model which has 20 to 32x longer context capability than top reasoning models like openai zo3 cloud 4 opus and DeepSeek R105 it, making it ideal for creating books, entire programming projects or AI agents. They have implemented lightning attention approach for the model which maintains performance while dramatically reducing computation costs. Minimax agent drops 1000 free credits in your account the moment you sign up. That means you can try the full power, no credit card, no tricks and get this. It doesn't just spit out code snippets, it builds complete React apps, not just HTML but working actual apps you can use. But here's the twist, this agent isn't just about the code, it connects with MCP servers so you can pull data from Slack, Notion, your databases, even GitHub and run custom analysis. Imagine asking it to break down your Excel sales report and it hands you a chart ready to go. Or scraping the web for research then building the dashboard to show you the results all in one. And if you're thinking is it really that easy, stick around. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to handle long running tasks, automate workflows and why it might just be a new contender of Manus you have been waiting for. Now let's talk about the new model from Minimax which is M1. Now what they are saying is that this is the world's first open source large scale hybrid attention reasoning model and if you see the benchmarks it is almost matching the top models from OpenAI which is O3, Cloud4 Opus, Gemini 2.5 Pro and DeepSeek R10528 and it even outperforms some of them in some of the benchmarks. Now this is where it gets interesting if you compare the max input token size of Minimax M1 ATK it's 1 million which is matching the industry leading 1 million of Gemini 2.5 Pro but if you compare with other models it is almost 8 times the amount of DeepSeek and almost 5 times the amount of Cloud4 and O3 and even in the max output section it is ATK which is slightly below O3's 100k so if we compare overall it has best of both the worlds both input and output tokens are one of the highest highest values. So what this means is that it can understand a lot of information at once and can give a lot of output as well at once which is ideal for an AI agent. Another unique feature of this model is that it follows lightning attention and if you see the graph for traditional models which are in red as we increase the context length the compute power required increases exponentially but if you see lightning attention leads to a linear increase in compute which is ideal and what it will do is it will reduce the computational cost it will require less number of gpus for both fine tuning and inference so this unique approach challenges the market leaders and it is performing almost equal to the top models with very less compute power and you can see what they are saying is that they were able to train the entire model within three weeks with 512 h100 gpus and it costed to them only half a million dollars which is great seeing the benchmark it is scoring and if we see this chart and if we compare it with the other extended thinking models you can see that it is almost matching the top models you can see here in the agentic tool use as well it almost beats everyone and in the airline demo it even beats all the models and and in retail domain as well it scores quite good and this models are completely open source and they are available on hugging face to download but these are quite big models of around 456 billion parameters so you would require a very powerful system to run it and they have a website as well where you can use this model that is chat.minimax.io and now you have this agent button here as well and if you click on this you are taken to this Minimax agent. When you sign up, they give you 1000 credits to play around. I have loaded another 5000 credits for this video. Let's see what this model is capable of doing. In the first use case, we are just asking it to create a Lady Gaga fan page. So I haven't given anything at all. I have just given four keywords here and let's see what it is able to come up with. 
So it is doing all the research, it is going through the information. So it's time just trying to see if with such a small prompt, whether it is able to come up with something good. So it has completed the website. So it shows the preview at the right. Now you have even this button where you can open it in a proper full page view. And here you can see this website is looking good. It's not just a template, it has all the relevant information that it has taken. It is even showing the upcoming shows of Lady Gaga. It has collected all the important information. And you can see all the other pages as well. The career timeline is also created by it. And it looks great. And with such a small prompt, it is able to come up with such a good website. All the pages are completely working, tour dates and everything is there. So you can see how good this agent is. It's not just the UI that you get from tools like Bolt and Lovable. It's the complete website. Another good thing about this agent is you can have MCP servers added to your prompt itself and it will use that MCP server as well. While creating the model, you can have a MCP server from Figma, Slack, Notion, GitHub, GitLab, MySQL server. It has its own Minimax MCP server as well, which allows it to generate images, videos and audios. So this agent is capable of generating its own audio video. It doesn't call any other external model for generating that and it does it through its MCP server. So let's ask it to deploy a code from a GitHub repository, which is of a game called Devil Glitches. You have just asked it to deploy and let's see if it is able to deploy the entire game and we are able to play it. This is a really good use case where you want to just test a repo and don't want to get into solving all the build issues that might come up. Here you just give the link to the AI agent and it does all the work for you. And it has successfully deployed it and you can see the game has loaded. Let's try playing it and game is working perfectly. We just have to do a fully functional game. Let's try to give it something difficult. We'll ask it to create a MCP navigation site which can list all the commonly used MCPs by AI agents. And let's see if it is able to come up with something good or not. You can see after building the website, it even tests each and every page by doing unit testing. So it's a full blown implementation of a website where you don't have to test anything yourself. It is even writing the test cases and testing it after building the website. So it has finished building the website. Now let's open it in a new tab. And as you can see, it has built the website successfully and it has given all the features on its own. It has even created the categories on its own. For example, if we click on web scraping, opens the MCP servers which are available for web scraping and it has all the search feature as well. You can see that even the search functionality works. So it's a fully functional website. And if I click on a particular MCP server and it even gives the command for the installation and it gives the links to the GitHub repository and all the information and everything has been fetched from internet and added here. So the results are quite great for coding. Let's do a research scenario as well. We'll ask it to identify Apple's AR VR patterns done between 2018 and 23. Let's see how it performs. So it's searching the web and it's even going to patents.google.com, which is a good source for this information and identify and as you can see, it has completed this task and it has generated a final report as well. And if we click on this final report, you can see it has the patent list. So it has identified these five patents with all the technical categories, publication date, and has given the detail of each and every patent in detail. What is the claim of that patent word by word. So the research which it has done is quite thorough and you can outsource your research work to this agent quite easily. Now let's see its presentation building skills. We have provided the technical paper of Minimax M1 model to it and asked to prepare a presentation for a conference and let's see what it has come up with. So we'll click on open in new tab. It has its own presentation viewer as well. And you can click on this play slides and it will switch to full screen. And you can see it has created this awesome presentation with animation. And if you remember, this is the page I had shown you at the beginning of this video. And you can see the info lets it creates is quite awesome. I have never seen something like this from a AI presentation creator. It gives you all the benchmarks as well. And you can see here competitive advantage of Minimax. 
highlighted here this is great this is more than what i expected from this agent now let's check multimodal capabilities of this model we'll ask it to create a children's book we have asked it to create a 20 page children's book starring a kind fox and let's see what it comes up with so it is building the story now you can see it even reviews the images that is corrected if there is consistency between the different images so all these things are being taken care of by the agent itself you don't have to give any guidance to the agent to improve the quality of the content it comes up with the perfect quality that is required it has finished creating the book so you can see this is the first page and you can see the consistency is there the theme which is being followed and the way the fox is looking now let's try to make something exciting you will ask it to create a clone of netflix website but instead of movies it should showcase trailers of latest pc and ps5 games and the trailers can be played on the website it has listed down the top games which are popular currently and it is adding details of the games that it has listed in the beginning one by one and it is finding their trailer as well on youtube using its own mcp search engine mcp server it has gathered all the required information that has to be presented on the website in a web file called game trailers.json and you can see it has its own inbuilt sub agent so it is saying that it is delegating this task to build website agent to create an interactive website with video now it has started creating the structure for the website building the website in react that is working on the netflix style navigation and it is even adding the autoplay feature that we need so the website is coming up now it is testing the different sections of the website by running a browser agent uh, you can see it is scanning the different section of the website it does everything on its own you don't have to manually check the output and then keep on refining as you do with cursor and other agents it has completed the output and the website is looking good let's open it in a new tab and you can see it looks amazing and it looks exactly like the netflix but it has even renamed it to game flick and let's see if we are able to play the trailer and yes we people come no it's showcasing all the upcoming games so although this looks exactly like netflix but it does not have the auto play feature that you generally have when you open the netflix first it starts playing on its own so let's ask the agent to build that now let's ask it to improve it can you build that as well let's see what it says it has understood our request and it is working on the feature request and let's see if it is able to do it successfully so it has tested the website and it the uh, auto preview seems to be working now and let's see now it will give us the final link so now we have the link and let's open it and you can see the video has started loading and we have the auto play feature and this is awesome guys i never expected this to come up with such an awesome output where it can play the video similar to netflix app that we see and you can see how similar it is to netflix it even has this sound button you can enable it and hear the sound and you can see it classifies the playstation game with this logo at the left has created categories as well on its own and it even creates a zip file which you can download and run and deploy on your web server as well 